Is water a good conductor of electricity or a bad one? The answer is that it depends on the water. Normal tap water like this is slightly conductive. However, ultra pure water has a very low conductivity. It is actually a very good electrical insulator. In order to have an idea of the difference, we will compare the conductivity of normal tap water with the conductivity of deionized water, which has a very low concentration of salts and minerals. Here we have normal tap water and I'm going to check the resistance. The higher the resistance, the lower the conductivity of water. We can see that the resistance is approximately 210 kilo ohms. Now I will repeat the test with deionized water. The resistance is about 1.9 mega ohms, that is almost 10 times higher than in the case of tap water. As we have seen, deionized water has a very high resistance. It is less conductive than normal tap water. And this is because this water is highly pure. It has a very low concentration of salts and minerals. In fact, one way to increase the conductivity of water is to add a teaspoon of salt, as we will see now. Let's now add some salt to this tap water and check its resistance. Ok, let's check the resistance of this tap water with salt. It is about some 20 kilo ohms. Remember that normal tap water without the salt, the resistance was about 200 kilo ohms. This water with salt has 10 times less resistance than the other water. This means that this water is much more conductive. Now in this aluminum sheet terminals I'm going to put about 30 volts and let's see what happens. Since salt water is more conductive, it permits the flow of electricity. If we measure with a voltmeter, we can see that we have about 7 volts in the water. The voltage is a function of the distance. Less distance gives less voltage.